是一个武术人，我从小受到国家的培养，在中国上海是专业武术运动员。退役以后，我有去过日本当全日本太极拳协会的教练，看到的全日本太极拳协会各个分部很多的外国的日本人在学中国传统武术文化，然后我在日本当教练也是推广。不断的开讲习会，然后我一九九二年来到的澳洲，我就想，我是一个武术人，我的初衷也不忘，我一定要把中国传统武术文化，怎么样在澳大利亚这一块土地上面能够传播推广，这是我的一个责任。我们不断的推广这个中华武术，在那个学校。在社区，在公司，我们也经常会去表演，参加全国的比赛，参加大洋洲的比赛，参加世界传统武术比赛、世界武术比赛。It's given me the opportunity to do things like represent Australia at international competitions. You know, I've been to China three or four times, been to various locations there for different competitions. Met a lot of people from all over the world who are into wushu, but also, you know, a lot of uh, masters, etc., in China, other athletes from China, and learn a lot about, uh, I guess, the culture, the history of martial arts and China in general.、Um, Also, I think in Sydney, because we have a pretty big Chinese population, and、um, I like to think I'm quite close with my shifu. You know, we spend a lot of time,、uh, you know, Chinese cultural events, dinners, things like this, to sort of, I don't know, embrace a little bit more of what's the same, what's different about Chinese culture, and get that that sharing together between、uh, Australia, China, you know, Western culture, Chinese culture. I'm very interested, just in general, in, in history and tradition, and I think that that's something I really appreciate in Tai Chi is how much, how much history and culture is just woven into the practice.、Um, I'm very interested in the language. It's very hard to learn when you haven't learned it when you're really young, but I've also tried to learn enough of the words and understand. Uh, how many different meanings there are, and how important the different meanings of different words have. When I've travelled to China as well, I think it's a very beautiful place,、um, and the people are really interested and very、um, always happy to, to talk and to discuss culture. It's, I've always had really nice experiences in China and even within the Chinese community here in Australia. People are very warm and welcoming and open. It's it's a really really lovely culture, really lovely people. I do all the time. I would definitely recommend Tai Chi to a friend. Absolutely, I, and I have recommended Tai Chi to many, many friends. For most people in my age bracket or older, I would tell them to try and get into Tai Chi first,、um, and then see how they go. I'm, I'm early 40s. We've all been working office jobs, all this sort of thing. You know, Tai Chi really helps with getting people that mobility, that relaxation, and everything. It's also such a great gateway to other Chinese martial arts. It, I always recommend Tai Chi、uh, because I think it's. It's what I would describe as a, a holistic system, meaning that it can help you no matter what stage of life you are at, no matter what physical state you're in. So I have a friend who、uh, is in a wheelchair, and she's been in a wheelchair since she was、uh, very small, since we've known each other. And even to her, I've said she should try Tai Chi. She should practice Tai Chi because the movement is always、uh, designed to help you、uh, become stronger, to have better flexibility, better stability. There is a bigger goal, which is how to train the next generation, how to train more teachers, how to spread the message. It's not just my one hand. We're from the smallest to the oldest. We're from the oldest to the oldest. We're from the oldest to the oldest. 我们就是不断深入，因为我们的武术，如果要让更多的人知道，只有不断的推广，走出去，到各个地方，帮助更多有需要的人。在澳大利亚这一块土地上面，培雷中华武术协会不断的在努力，我们不断的坚持，不忘初心，一直传承下去。Oh.